welcome back welcome back welcome back from that break now uh in your faces is uh, talent music is what we are talking about nothing else and uh today i'm joined by uh you know a trio but i'll start with the the couple you understand uh, that is uh, the wadulos right how are you doing this is the second time i'm uh, interviewing you but the first time i'm interviewing you with your wife and uh, the instrumental is the other side. Welcome to the show. Wadulo is uh, a news anchor, reporter. Is basically uh, in a different, uh, you know, forte. I, I, I should say it's newsroom. But uh, during his free time, he's basically an entertainer. Y you understand? It's good to have you on the show. Thanks for hosting me again, Calvin. I think the first time you hosted me, I wasn't married. Oh, oh yes, you were not married at that time. Now you're a married man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Though you didn't contribute for our wedding. No, I know, I know. I wish you had even gotten married during COVID. Uh, I was advising people here on TV, get married, ma marry off your girlfriend during COVID because the advantage was during COVID, you could afford to have a wedding of 70 people and you get tired with it. Yeah, it's true because I know even us, eh, even after COVID, we tried to insist to our families, we're like, hey, we want a small wedding, but they refused. They were like, no, chikachu, nothing. What's that? I know, I know, I know what uh, many people, many young couples go through lately. Uh, the family, they have their point, but you also as a couple, you also have your point. So at the end of the day, compromise sometimes is reached, at the, but sometimes one side wins and the other side is like, ah, you know, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you very much. How does it feel being called a Wadulo? Oh, it's a blessing. Yeah. It's a new identity and I thank God for it. How do I see him posting your pictures on social media? How do you feel? I feel blessed. I only give the glory and honor back to God. Yes. Yes, please. It's more like marking territory. Uh, no, okay, you see, think, 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 think about pictures. I've also actually never really been that person that posts. But, you know, there comes that person who puts you in a zone. Eh? And you kind, of, uh, you kind of get over your fear of expressing yourself, yeah? Yeah, because most people, you know, have you've seen girls who go to high high end places, but they've been sponsored, but they're only taking pictures of themselves. You don't know who is there. Eh? The other side, uh huh. And I think it's a good thing if you're really in love, you're enjoying the moment, capture those moments, memories. I'm like that with my wife, you know. Uh, capture those moments. Though sometimes you don't want all the kids there, but you're like, yeah, you're deliberate. In most cases, you know, enjoy the moment and. Uh, Enjoy the love, be in that moment and uh, celebrate it. It's what matters at the end of the day. I mean, you have nothing to fake or hide, right? True, true, true. So music. Oh, I almost forgot. The you know, this thing with couples, when you're dealing with couples, sometimes you forget the third wheel. How are you doing? I'm okay. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. For how long have you been playing with these guys? four months how has the experience been so far so good nice now i know mark arnold you know his story musical story shared a little bit of that uh, a couple of years ago uh, but you now how did you get into the music i've always loved music i grew up in church it began with uh, singing in church i started singing as early as four years old yes please yes so of the two who pushed the other into singing now, you know the way natural, we naturally came together, not knowing we had uh, underlying similarities, especially love for music and our underlying love for God. Yeah. So she came to discover slowly, but like, hey, you're an artist. Hey, you're a musician. So I met her at a time whereby she had kind of held back, she had kind of stopped and she was now doing business strictly. So knowing that I was a, 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 an artist, and knowing that she had a very beautiful voice, I started compelling her. Like every time I was going to studio, I would call her, like, hey, let's go to studio. And then I would drop her, I would not tell her that I'm going to, you know, tell her to back up my songs, yeah? So we're in the studio and I tell her, hey, just come put your voice in here. She's like, what? I wasn't prepared. So slowly by slowly, she started regaining her confidence. And now we're a duo, we're a group, and uh, it's a lovely journey. I think I must say that it's very lovely. That's good to hear. As uh, you know, I think everyone wants a supportive uh, partner who brings out uh, the best uh, in them, you know. Uh, you music, where do you see music going as I do? Oh, interesting. 
interesting. <laughs> uh, I just let God take the wheels because personally, I, it's not by my doing or my might or my power, but the grace of God. I, I trust on God for wherever it goes. Yes, please. How do you guys describe your style of music? Have you had a chance of performing as yet? And uh, uh, yeah, professionally, how do you want this to go? Now, uh, one, the vision I have for our group is uh, a large group. Now, one, we, we are collaborating with a number of artists because much as I'm a producer, I own a record label, I have limitations. In one, I can't play instruments as good as some of my friends like Bahani right there, we have um, um, Asiku Walter out there, we have Jakey's, most of these guys are instrumentally sent, they've, they've studied music at, you know, university. So we thought that we need to collaborate first and foremost and uh, harness our energy, but also now us as the Wadulos, the vision I have is uh, a family band and leaving behind a legacy like the Bob Marlins, the Marlins, you understand? Yeah, my kids are, you know, because we own this record label at home. So my kids are always watching me producing music. In fact, they can be box. They join me in, in production. They actually, they know all our songs by melody, by lyric. You get what I mean? So that's something we're trying to plant in them. But uh, the underlying tone is that we want them to know that they're not doing it because they can, but they want, we want them to serve a greater purpose. One, the kingdom of God but also the greater purpose of, of, of doing something that you can do better than anyone else and putting it out there. It's good to hear. Do you guys have any videos at the moment? Yeah. We currently have one video. It's called Wesige Mukama, which is actually off this uh, EP that we have just released. The EP is called um, Gospel to the World. Yes, Gospel to the World. And that was a, a play on also the fact that the EP is a two-track EP. It's a two-track reggae EP, and uh, we have launched it on all streaming platforms, YouTube, Spotify, Deezer, um, Apple Music, and uh, we're taking it seriously to that level in that we want to also reach a level whereby our kids can benefit from our royalties of these streaming platforms, yeah? Yeah, but also... Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that video when we come back uh, more, all right? Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every zito wa kumutima. Team up. 
Mombasa, a simple performance. You've just checked out their video. But uh, let's also test the sound and vocal abilities. Here we go. Wadulos, and that is a uh, visitor wa kumutima. Because where is where mukama? Visitor wa kumutima because mukama omwesi. Yeah, nice message is just straightforward. So, uh, who writes? Uh, or you both contribute to your writing? We both contribute to our writing, but I thank God. Let me take this opportunity to thank my husband for helping me build my confidence, because I almost lost this confidence some time ago by a comment someone made and it crushed me so I'm just regaining my confidence again and yeah thank you very much my love no it was well, you know sometimes uh, social sometimes uh, guys you need to be careful with the words you know words are like uh, they're like spears you know uh, there is a certain word which I've forgotten they can crush people's hearts. So be careful of what you say to people. It's always good for us to sieve or think through whatever we put out. And uh, this actually also starts from school. Even the schools, you know, the teachers. Uh, recently, uh, there was a time when I clashed with the teacher of a certain school, you know, and it was because of what they were saying, you know, uh, towards my, 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 my kid. Yeah, those are things as parents we don't take lightly and as parents I believe you also don't take lightly you know because uh, the people who crush a child's esteem it starts from uh, you know are, are breeded from uh, a younger age you understand so the time when the children are given at least guide them that's what I think yes. if you notice some of these talents and, and you know skills and gifts I think it's only right that you guide them and nurture them because yes, of course, sometimes they tend to go astray or be taken by the world. But it's always very important to guide and nurture, and uh, you know, groom. You know, in a way, one 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 way or another, it becomes yeah. Guide, nurture, groom, defend. You 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 understand. <laughs> now, as we come towards uh, the end of uh, this interview, what's that one thing that uh, is so memorable about? Ever since you guys started, you know, you know, singing as a couple, that one thing that you think this singing has added at your relationship. Oh, wow. <laughs> that one thing is my husband hypes me. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, my goodness, <laughs> I feel like I can, I can conquer the world with him on my side. Yes. I think you're doing the right thing. For me, I would ban the whole village for my wife. You, 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 you understand, and you did the right support system, but yes. Yeah, I think support is one thing, that, and, and also the way you see the, the way we are working. Yes. Um, I'm the kind of person that I don't like to shine alone, yeah, because one candle can only create more light by lighting another candle. You know, you get another candle. That's why we're working with Audio Giant Studios, Bahani Zano, Zano XP. We're working with Asik Walter. All those artists that we're working with, all have their time and to shine, and you know. As a man, you know. What has music added, you know, what magic has it added to your family and love relationship? Now, I've always told this to so many people who know that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a journalist. 
quite a number of people don't know that I'm a musician, but slowly by slowly they get to know. And they think I'm sometimes playing around or I'm not focused, but they actually forget or don't know that the innermost part of me is actually more a musician than I am a, I'm a journalist. But I'm a skilled and professional journalist, and I do that to the core. However, music lets me let loose. I always tell my wife, though she she's gradually getting the picture, I always tell her that in my retirement, I am seeing myself with beards, just tuning a mixer, just putting that compressor on, you know, taking on the, 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 the equalizer up, and I'm just in my studio listening to a sweet sound, and I'm mixing it. And for me, that is peace. Yeah. Everyone deserves to find that peace uh, or to find uh, that activity that, uh, you know, gives them that freedom. I would call it the, you know, the freedom, the peace and, uh, you know, and happiness. It's good that you guys have been able to identify that. But most importantly, being uh, each one's support system. It's very important for, for couples. Uh, and uh, when we talk about even the married people, you know, uh, support your partners at all levels, you know. It's sometimes not monetary, but being there for them, 100%. It's what is expected of uh, uh, partnerships. Y you understand. If you fall in with my woman, uh, it's a different story altogether. Y yes. Y y yeah. I always see you guys on, on social media, but it's something that is adorable. Like when you, sh you should be able to hype your person. That's true, man, and big ups. Uh, hello, Madam Calvin. Thank you for taking care of this gentleman. A little while back, I was thinking, I'm like, hey, you know, Calvin has interviewed myriads of people, but has someone interviewed Calvin before? To, re to really listen to your story, bro, because you have a story. Oh, in a story. Uh, one person who tried interviewing me was Christian Newman, but I uh, did not exhaust the whole story. It's a series, but uh, yeah, um, life is a journey. Life is indeed a journey. Uh, we learn and pick up something new almost every single day. But what's most important is us not forgetting who we are, where we're from. And uh, it's from that that we are able to have a clear picture of where, to, where we are going. You understand? Uh, anyways, we, we have to wrap up this interview. We have to wrap up this interview. Guys, thank you so much for plugging in and following through. Uh, we'll see you again. That is uh, tomorrow, same time, same channel. We'll leave you with uh, some of your requests. Have a lovely evening. Peace out. Mm -hmm.